Can North Carolina guard this screen in some way? I can jam the screener and have R.J. Davis go under. It's a screen set beneath the three-point line. You can also switch. You don't do anything. R.J. Davis is screen. You do nothing. It was terrible one-on-one -on -one defense. Could you just show your hands and slide your feet? By the way, your help's in the middle of the floor. This is not, come on, gamble once, gamble twice. I mean, that's ridiculous. Armando Baycott has an issue with switching all game long. You know you're switching. Up level to the screen or ready to guard. This is a shooter you're switching on to. Up, up, up on the switch. Up, up, up on the switch. What is North Carolina even doing here? Out of a baseline, out of bounds. Like, can we guard? Why do you have multiple players standing in the middle of nowhere? What on earth was that? No, Hubert Davis. No, Hubert Davis. Going into a game, these two North Carolina players are involved in a handoff or a screen. It's a switch every time. When you think and have to talk about switches in the middle of the play, that's what you get. This is coaching. This is reprehensible. Away from the ball. Pass it. I'm underneath the Alabama player. Back to the baseline. What is happening here? Get underneath. You're, and you don't have your back to the ball. Back to the baseline seeing ball and man. Obviously, you're getting beat back door here. Why is your pick and roll defense to give up open threes? Baycott, get up and hedge. Push the ball handler out. There's no place for the big to Alabama to roll to. The backside helps right there. Why is it come off screen? Be wide open. A terrible switch again by Baycott. If I know I'm switching, why am I not level to the Alabama player giving the handoff so I'm ready to guard? And then you got to get underneath when you're switching onto the screener. Underneath. So now by Baycott, I've got help in the middle of the floor. I'm up guarding and funneling the ball handler into the help. But Armando Baycott's five steps from where he needs to be switching. North Carolina, the defender switched over the top anyways instead of getting underneath. And this is just wide open again. Absolutely not how you guard a down screen, Hubert Davis. This is coaching. Armando Baycott's got to be attached to the screener with his arms extended. So J.P. Sears can't curl. You're nowhere. How's the defender supposed to get over the top of the screen? How? Curl right into an open three. This is all Huber Davis right here. Down screen. Get attached to the screener. Arms extended so J.P. Sears can't curl again. Eh, you screw that up again. That's why there's multiple steps of separation between the defender and Sears. Now on a handoff. You never go un over a handoff. I'm jamming the screen and the defender goes under and meets him on the other side. You go over. This is a layup line. Such poorly coached garbage. Why is this North Carolina defender giving up the side of the floor where there's no help? Force J.P. Sears to the middle where you have nothing but bodies. You know this. You go over this. Look at this. This is a glorified layup line. Again. What? Armando Baycott again. You cannot be late on switches, especially screens that are set underneath the free throw line. Up ready to guard. Up, ready to guard immediately. That, eh. You just can't make this stuff up. I, I mean, it's Armando Baycott again. You're switching onto a shooter. You know you're switching. Get up level to the screener so I'm ready to guard immediately on the switch. Why are you three steps behind the screener and giving up another open three? This is completely embarrassing. This is off a made basket. First of all, could we not celebrate right here and get back? Like, you got one player jogging, one player celebrating a dunk. So off a made basket, off an inbounds, poof, two on one, points. This is not defense. What is Hubert Davis doing? Ice the screen. Keep the ball handled to the sidelines and up. I have back. There's no place for the big rolling to go to. Backside helps right there. This is not defense. This is come off screen, have shoot around. You don't guard above the three-point line away from the ball. First of all, right here, get to the wing, back to the baseline, seeing ball and man. Also, pass gets made. I'm immediately rotating to the top of the key with my back to the baseline, seeing ball and man. So clearly you're going to get beat back door right here. That defender's got to step up now and guard the ball. And then on your recovery here, could you not gamble like you're doing right now and just get ready to guard? Look at you gambling at the ball. 
cannot miss this. This is coaching. Easy. Cross screen gets set. Player coming through the screen for Alabama. You got to jam him and knock him off his spot. So RJ Davis has time to get on the other side. You don't touch him. Easy. Look at how poorly coached the Tar Heels are. Why is this a switch? There's no screen taking place. What are you switching? This is coaching. Cannot miss this. We're in the gaps. We, first of all, we got to see the ball away from the ball. And then we're rotating. We're in the gaps. In the gaps. There's no place for this ball handle to go to. Right now, you're not seeing the ball. Get over and rotate. I'm stunting at that ball, getting the dribble picked up early, and easily recovering. But you got to see the ball to know that. Why is North Carolina not hedging? There's no play. You know this player for Alabama is going to pop off the screen. There's no place to pop to. Backside defender standing and waiting. Instead, you're in drop coverage. So the ball handler gets to keep his dribble alive for forever, and you're going to ask Baycott to go from the charge circle back to the three-point line. Easy pump and go drive. So poorly coached. Why am I giving up the angle here where there's no help? For, if I'm funneling the ball handler somewhere, it's to the middle of the floor. I can just help and recover. Again, giving up the side of the floor, you don't have help. So now you gotta, everyone's got to collapse at the rim, shoot around three. Transition defense. Do you work on it? Everyone has to talk right now. Right now. Everyone. So I've got this guy. Say it. I've got that guy. Say it. I, everyone, everyone's communicating so Baycott knows, okay, i got to find somebody else to guard. But you're clearly not talking. You got a bunch of North Carolina players. Everyone's standing on the strong side of the floor. Hubert Davis's defense was only going to give up two points here. Only giving up two points. See, right now, I, I never go over the handoff. I'm jamming the screener from Baycott going under, meeting the ball handler on the other side. So you go over here. So not only is this wide open right here, but if this is a miss, look at the Alabama player standing underneath the rim. There's no one to box out either. This coaching cannot happen. Shot goes up. First of all, R.J. Davis is going to jog back, sprint back. This North Carolina player is going for an offensive rebound he has no chance of. Sprint back. And then you're just standing there watching. you got to sprint back too. Like right now, we have four North Carolina players under the free throw line. Look, at, no one's back in transition. Now everyone's scrambling to get back. Open triple again. This is unbelievable. So finally, Armando Baycott plays up and hedges the screen. So when you're hedging a screen, this is basic. R.J. Davis has to get in backside help. The pass to the roll cannot get made. Like, wh where is R.J. Davis? Rotate to, to the man rolling. And then if a skip pass is made, you can recover. You can't not, what? You can't not be there.